I want to start off saying I know I look crazy. I just got finished working out. And then I went to the grocery store really quickly to get a few things. I haven't really gone to the grocery store that much during the or after the pandemic because I didn't want to go to the grocery store. Um, and just in terms of how our life has changed, I generally don't go to the grocery store anymore. I just get my groceries delivered. And I'm thinking about Stephanie Perry when she talks about living a life of ease. And also I'm in the Rachel Rogers coaching program. And she talks about, you know, really thinking about how do you kind of offload those tasks that are like, uh, doesn't really make you money, but tasks that you can kind of delegate or do an easier way so you can make more money. So I've been doing that over the pandemic and I'm still doing it. So went to the grocery store today, but I wanted to share with you just briefly um, in my bare state <laughs> about um, sometimes when you have left a toxic job. Now, the, the one thing is that you might experience a range of different feelings in one day. So that's why I wanted to talk about this, is that today when I woke up, I felt good. Um, usually on Monday mornings, I would wake up with a sense of dread. I would have difficulty sleeping Sunday night because I would just be just like in knots thinking I had to go back to that place on Monday. But today's Monday morning, woke up. My only problem was how do I get out of bed soon enough so I can get to my, my workout class. So anyway, got there on time, felt good, felt like, oh, this is such a blessing that I'm able to get up when I want to get up. I need to get up on time because I go to my workout class. But other than that, I can get up when I want to get up, go to my workout class without stressing about, oh my God, how much time? I got to hurry up and get a go. I got to leave early. I don't have to think about that. So anyway, went to the grocery store. So again, feeling good, went to the grocery store and I went to the same grocery store that I used to go to every week for so many years, you know, when I was juggling, um, you know, that job and, you know, being a mom and a wife and just going to the grocery store every week. And when I walked into the grocery store, I immediately had a sense of overwhelming sadness. I almost wanted to cry because it reminded me of what my life was like then, you know, before in terms of what I was dealing with at that job and just all those memories. And I remember when I would go grocery shopping, I would replay, you know, what was going on that week at that toxic job. And so again, things that are just like everyday situations might be reminders, might be kind of trauma reminders of your toxic job. However, it's important to remind yourself when that happens to you, remind yourself, ground yourself. That's I'm not in that current situation. I have moved on. I'm in a much better place. But it, you know, it still might happen. So that's why I wanted to just talk to you. Um, again, very impromptu, uh, very raw form, <laughs> just finished working out to just let you know that um, it might happen. You know, you might feel, you know, or see reminders of your job and you might not even make the connection immediately. But I, I knew in that moment, you know, as a psychologist, I'm always self-aware. And so I was in the moment, I was like, why am I feeling so sad? What is going on? Because I was grieving for the life that I had, not in a good way. So thinking about all that I went through and all the things in terms of, you know, each week going to the grocery store, processing again, kind of like you're on remote because you generally get the same thing every week. So on remote, you like getting the things I need to get for the family, but also thinking about what had happened that week and strategizing about what my next move was going to be and how I was going to do this and how I was going to, again, like work on the Underground Railroad to make sure things were done and just a lot of thinking in the grocery store, a lot of thinking in relation to that toxic job. So when I went there today, it was just a reminder of that. So thank God I'm in a much better place. So now I'm about to start the rest of my day in terms of doing things and I, you know, make money and I do things, but on my own terms. And so my hope is that either you find a better job and or you start your own thing. Because again, when I was at that toxic job, I didn't want to leave because part of it was I didn't know what else I could do. But I'm a therapist. So I just pivoted and started doing therapy 
as a private practice owner. So just think about what are the things that you can do? What are your talents? What are your skills that you can take either somewhere else and or start that as your own business, okay? So I want to just talk to you briefly about that. And I know how to introduce myself, but I'm Dr. Kamani, licensed clinical psychologist, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.